Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do something slightly different. If you love what I have been doing in this channel, do let me know, but I just want to switch things up and see whether it's like a format that you like. In this video, we'll be talking about the step-by-step -step guide, how you can post your very first LinkedIn article, how you can repurpose what you have already existed in your website of your written blog to LinkedIn articles or LinkedIn newsletter. I'll also share with you whether you should be posting LinkedIn article or LinkedIn newsletter. And last but not the least, as well as most of my audience always ask, is there a pro and con of writing and posting LinkedIn articles versus LinkedIn posts? Are you guys ready? Let's go. Some of the things that I always teach my clients is to repurpose their content. Why? Because these are the three fun facts that you need to know. 75% of your LinkedIn followers didn't see your content. 80% of your followers won't remember your post. And 100% of your new followers never saw it. So my question to you is like, why not repurpose your content? So let's come back here. If you're like anything like me, you might be writing blogs or you might have a copywriter that you're working with that to share your expertise. So this one right here is about how you can grow your LinkedIn 15 minutes per day habit to grow your LinkedIn. It's a very realistic and effective strategy. And if you're tuning in from YouTube, you know that it's one of my best performing video. I think it's more than 10,000 views right now. Let's talk about the differences between posting LinkedIn article versus LinkedIn newsletter. So the main two big difference of LinkedIn article and LinkedIn newsletter, you can be more consistent than make it a theme newsletter. If you are like, oh, I just posted like very irregularly, then you can do it as a LinkedIn article. But LinkedIn newsletter, where you're going to see this is under all your activity, there's like polls, videos, comments, image, and then you click more. So you can see newsletter. When I click that, it will show me and my audience when did I publish it? It will also show the number of subscribers here too. And it will show you, you know, the title. It will show you how many minutes or the article contains. So it's like six minute with read, seven minutes read, or five minutes read. And then for LinkedIn article, once you click that, it will be a very different like UX, right? User experience. It doesn't show you subscriber. It doesn't show you like different theme anymore. LinkedIn article, it's going to sit right here. You see article. You see all these are your LinkedIn articles articles, right? And LinkedIn articles don't have this sort of like theme around newsletter. So I do newsletter because I know I can show up for my audience twice or even uh, monthly. And if this is the case for you, then you might want to do a theme newsletter. So it's like the insider suite scoop. It's a monthly download of all things, personal branding, content marketing, and LinkedIn for business. And then we have roughly around 5,601 subscriber right now. And I have more than 21,000 followers, right? So that's really, really good. And that is your newsletter. And I want to show you one thing. Let me go to my profile. And here in the feature section, you can actually feature your newsletter here. And obviously my, if you've been like following my channel, my call to action that it's aligning my current sales goal is to get people to join my LinkedIn mastermind. So that is why I rather have my sales page here than my newsletter. But if you're doing a newsletter, that would be one of the things that you can just basically click. Let me click it so you would see how that looks like. There's no newsletter to be display but this is what you can do right and then it will land in the feature section so you can do add a newsletter and then display it from here for the feature section and it will land here now you understand why you should be posting newsletter when you can consistently showing up if you cannot uh, do that then do linkedin article so let me go ahead and do the linkedin newsletter since i have that and then i save this is how that looks like once i change it to newsletter then LinkedIn will automatically show off my newsletter. So if that's something really close to your heart, this is your uh, goal to grow your subscriber and you post like very regularly a long form type of content, then this is a really, really good way. So let me go back to video because I always post video. All right. So what you wanted to do right now is pull out your blog like it could be like a Google document, 
um, or it could be like just basically your blog from your website. And when you click to home page, you want to go to here, start a post. Instead of clicking media events, you click write an article and then you can actually post it from your LinkedIn personal profile or your company profile. And here I want to like do that through my personal profile. And when I do that, I could update this is the spec that they suggest you, um, which is 1920 times 1080 pixel. And then you can upload it from the computer. So I'm going to show you how you can do that here. So I went to my Canva and this is my banner. And what I wanted to do is download. And obviously this could be a better hook. So if you want to do a better hook will be like, like what I did with my uh, blog, which is like 15 minutes per day habit and then a uh, habit to grow your LinkedIn and then colon a realistic and effective strategy. So I would use that instead, but just for the sake of like showing you how that looks like today. So I go to Canva, do PNG, and then you see page 27, and then you can just download it. It's super easy. Um, the very first tips that I have for you is title. So making sure title is something that it's SEO friendly. I've got many articles getting discovered over like years that I post, and that is the only content type that LinkedIn will basically uh, have a very long uh, shelf life. If I can say that, like imagine like on supermarket, like how long can like a canned food shelf life rather than a fresh fruit, right? And for LinkedIn article, it lasts for years. Like I have people that still liking my articles that I post a year ago. And that is why it's like so incredibly amazing for this type of uh, format that would last such a long shelf life. So imagine every time when you're doing a blog, which is helping you with SEO on your website, I want you to do the same for LinkedIn as well. Then I can continue. I'm going to copy. It's fantastic. So this is my headline. This is my Hulk. This looks great. Formatting looks great. And then right here is another of my pictures. I should be putting out a folder of these like sort of like stock image, but I'm just going to screenshot it for the sake of like showing you how to do that. And then I'm going to click images. This is my screenshot and then it's right here. And then you can also put um, smaller size. You see this? very easy. And then there's also an alt text, which is again, helping you with SEO ranking higher. So obviously this is about LinkedIn growth strategies. Okay. This is good. I'm happy. And then I can add a link. I'm going to link it back to my article on my website. So here, if you are updating this with your URL, LinkedIn actually do not penalize you as an external link. Whereas like if you're doing a LinkedIn article based on LinkedIn algorithm, it will penalize you. Right. So for linked article or a newsletter, that is the only way you can drive traffic back to your website. And I'll show you how you can add like multimedia or like podcast or YouTube here. And then again, remember to making sure to add a title of caption. So I'm going to go back. This is about your posting content. And then here again, make it big or make it small. You can do that and then um, put a link. I am going to link it out to my website and alt text. This is like sort of like the the uh, golden ratio when it comes to your LinkedIn growth strategies. These are some of the keywords that people will search. Let's say you have a YouTube or a podcast channels, just like I do. What you wanted to do is here. Let's say you want to put uh, in between this text more like a uh, visual or creative elements. So you can put it here and you see little embed here. You can click right here and then click this. This is my YouTube and then apply. And once I click apply, boom, look at that. How amazing is it like literally whatever you do on your blog like any other long form article you want to repurposing back to linkedin you can do that as well so this is super powerful and you might ask oh how about podcast this is my podcast five plus rating we're super proud of it and then you click boom again Apple podcast, Insider Scoop podcast with me in Apple. And there you have it. This is good, right? Hey, Insiders, do you like what you're watching so far? I really hope you do. I love action takers and I do not want you to wait. Go to www.theinacademy.com and grab your copy of our latest freebie and start winning eyeballs, trust and clients on LinkedIn. And let's make LinkedIn work for you and your business. I cannot wait to support you every step of your LinkedIn journey. And now let's get back to the episode. 
And let me show you more stylistic thing that you can like make your article a little bit more engaging. So right here, you can do headline one, headline two. So very similar to website SEO. This is obviously the title and you want that to be headline one, right? From SEO perspective, that will put it in H1. So it's super similar if you're using WordPress um, or any other sort of like blog tool to help you. And these is obviously like normal text. So I would put it normal and then you can put different stylistic choice of like bolded, italic it. And then if there's like sort of subtitle, what you wanted to do is H2, right? That's like headline two. So it's super easy. All right. Now that you learn about how to post your LinkedIn article step by step, let's talk about whether it's to post LinkedIn article or LinkedIn post. And I want to like go over some of the really good copy that I think you can deploy for your posting strategy as well. The very first thing is the hook line because this is where people is going to stop the stroll and read your article or not. And making sure this is really enticing for them to want to read on this article, right? And then I go about saying what makes a post go viral? I've heard a lot of theory, a post is highly successful because X, Y, Z, no wrong answer. And then I talk about that. And then to really entice them how to actually go viral on LinkedIn with my tips, right? And then like, oh, not convinced. I just like give a teaser, like almost like a movie where someone is about to watch, um, like thinking of buying a ticket to go to a theater or something. Then you're like, still not convinced. Give this a three minute read to learn three insanely successful LinkedIn content example that went viral. So this is how that looks like, right? And I'll give you another example, this one, LinkedIn creator analytics and full explain. So I have this, I think tons of people still discovering me through this article, although I post this a year ago, it deployed the same thing. The very first sentence, the closest crystal ball for your LinkedIn marketing effort, dot, dot, dot. What if there's a way for you to know where which of your posts on LinkedIn you should doubling down on and which one to drop completely, right? And then introducing analytics for LinkedIn creator mode. And then I go about it. And then again, the magic sentence is give this a three minute read, tell people like how long does it take for them to finish and then tell them, hey, LinkedIn creator analytics explain, how does it help? Why is it important for you? Right. And that is the entire flow. So let me give you an example. I post this a year ago and I still get like people like sort of like DMing me about how amazing this article is, want to learn more about it. And like I mentioned, the shelf life for LinkedIn article and LinkedIn newsletter, it's really long. It's more than a year. So my question is why not posting it? And it started with a hook line with like, with 5.5 million members with creator mode on, should you turn it on, right? When someone read the sentence and they are like, oh, what is creator mode or should I turn this on? They will literally like continue reading, right? And then they will click the see more button from then. And that just helped me to sort of like really gain the virality from LinkedIn about, oh, this is a content that people like. I'll push this LinkedIn article to more people, even though I posted a year before, right? So I'll have that. And then I got this question literally every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me show you one pro and one con and then talk about pro. And the magic sentence for this is this one. Give this a three minute read to learn and then talk about the bullet point, what they're going to learn, right? Or you can say, give this a three minute read to learn what is LinkedIn creator mode and the pros and cons explain. And then once they click on it, that will be your article. And LinkedIn actually give you a lot of statistics about your LinkedIn article. So you click on it. This looks great. Just like what we do earlier. This looks fantastic. They show you like how many articles I've written before. Who is the writer? Who is the author? I published 35 articles. And then what you want is click view post in order to see the analytics. So I have around 116 people engaging, 75 comments and two reports just pretty good. And an impression of this LinkedIn article, it's 5,000 people have read this. There is just one output of my blog from my website. And then I just duplicate the entire effort to do the same on LinkedIn. These analytics, you see the post analytics, how many impression, how many reaction, how many comments, how many reposts, and then the article performance as well. So there's like two different data, right? The first set of data is the number of impression of your posts. And then actually in actuality, 
my article actually performed really well for 7,000 uh, article views, which means there is people resharing on another type of like way. It could be the links they copy and then share it with maybe on their newsletter. And that is why this view is higher than the post impression. And then from there, you will see the top article viewers demographic. So because I'm a LinkedIn business strategist, I help a lot of executive, a lot of founders, a lot of like small business owner to grow their LinkedIn. So this is actually really good. Telling me that there's 5.6% of all these job title of my article viewers is my demographic to read my stuff, right? Read my content. So I have founders, a business corporate strategist. I have salesperson, I have CEO, I have marketing specialist. So these are really, really good. LinkedIn also give you location. So like most, like obviously I, I study in the UK before and I think I bet that is the reason why London area UK has quite a lot of viewers over there. I'm New York City, this which is where I'm based in Miami right now in the East Coast. So that makes a lot of sense. And I used to work for LinkedIn, got a lot of friends still in, in San Francisco Bay Area. So that is the reason why. And then another last statistic you will be able to analyze is the companies, right? Who is those company that have been like, you know, sharing this article or people that is working there? So you will be able to see. All right, friends, there you have it. I hope you really enjoy. And if you want to learn more about the pros and cons of writing LinkedIn articles versus LinkedIn posts, I actually did another separate video in this channel that you can watch more to learn about this. If today's video get you one step closer of being the CEO you desire to be, then I've done my job right in this video. If you love what I'm sharing, please go ahead, smash that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up. And if you do love this type of format, please comment below tutorial. So I know I will do more of these type of format for you. And let's make LinkedIn work for you and your business. As of now, I hope to see you same time next week. Bye for now.